Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to my Inbox 27 video where I show some of my new and second hand vinyl finds. Um, I'm going to start off with some singles um, which I got over the past month. Now in the last Inbox, or maybe it was the one before that, I showed a couple of T-Rex singles and um, I looked up the website to see if there was any more of them and yes there were. So. I went a little bit mad and I bought, I think it's six of them all together, so I'll quickly go through these. These are from the uh, Easy Action Records. Um, they're not original versions, they're like, some of them are live versions, some of them are different texts and so forth, which makes it even better. So we have with this one here, we have Jewel and it's on red vinyl. And the B side of this is a live version of Buick McCain. We have Jeepster and the B side of this one is The Motivator 20th Century Boy and the B side of this is a different version of Midnight which was originally the B side of The Groover we have this is one I do like is Ride a White Swan and the B side of this is Ride a White Swan so there are two alternate versions and this one's on the white vinyl they're mostly on blue some of them are on red this is Telegram Sam and this one's on red and the B side of this is Baby Strange and lastly we have Hot Love and th this is actually the US edit so Hot Love is about four and a half to five minutes long the US version is three minutes seventeen where they put the la la la's in the middle of the song as well as a few at the end and I've never had it on vinyl I had it on a cheapy CD but it actually works quite well and um, it's on this plus a different version as well so those are the T-Rex singles um, some of the second hand we'll start off with the, the girls and I bought this today actually it's the singles collection of Petula Clark and this has got everything you need of Petula Clark it's got some really really great songs for example Sailor was a number one hit here which I love Romeo is a good song. My Friend the Sea is absolutely brilliant. Um, Downtown, which is one of the best singles of the 60s, absolutely fantastic song. I Know a Place is on this as well. My Love, um, This Is My Song, which I think was number one in the UK as well. Uh, Don't Sleep in the Subway, famous one. And it also has I Don't Know How to Love Him. Now, I believe Petula Clark was actually the first person to record that. It's the Andrew Lloyd Webber song. I think she was the very first. Now I'm not 100% sure, I could be wrong, but something tells me she was. So Petula Clark, uh, this hit singles collection, really good double album. Next up, and a little bit of Dolly Parton, which I bought a couple of weeks ago. And this has got 9 to 5 on it, and Old Flames, Can't Hold the Candle to You, which was uh, a big Irish hit, you know, locally for Foster and Allen. I love the song. Uh, Here You Come Again is on this, I Will Always Love You. This is really, really good. Islands and Streams on it as well. The only thing is the song Butterfly, I think she did uh, Butterfly. It's not on it, it's a shame. That was used for the theme tune of a comedy a series in the 1970s or 1980s. But yeah, Dolly Parton's Greatest Hits. It's the only Dolly Parton vinyl album I have. Next up, and we have, now this is Just Newton. I bought her other album about before Covid anyway and I always said if I find this one at a very cheap price i.e. at about a pound to one pound fifty I'll buy it and I think this was only a pound and again this is really really good it's got Angel, in the Angel of the Morning on it now this is the first version I ever heard of that song I don't know who did the original but I've heard the Pretenders do it it's not as good as this I've heard Olivia and John do it not as good as this and it also has Queen of Hearts on it which Dave Edmonds had a hit with um, in 1979 this is a really good album so that's two Just Newton albums that I really do enjoy so I'm glad I got it next up and this one here I've seen on the VC and I've always heard it's uh, it's always been well critically acclaimed and I thought I would go for it and um, it's Richard and Linda Thompson now this cost me a tenner so it was a bit of a gamble but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't really know how to describe it though because it's 
Linda Thompson's voice is quite folky, but Richard Thompson's voice isn't, I don't think. Um, there's a little, even little shades of rockabilly in some of the songs in this, and there is slight folk influences. But I know he was uh, in Fairport Convention. I really enjoyed it. It's from 1982. It still sounds really good. It's not dated, I don't think, anyway. Uh, really enjoyed it. Glad I got it. Next up, and we have Chic uh, Risqué, and this cost a couple of quid just. And I only bought this because it's got the song Good Times on it. I still haven't played the whole album yet, so I've got two Chic albums, this and Say Chic. So I must give this a spin pretty soon. But yeah, glad to get it. Good Times, absolutely fantastic song. And after that, I bought this. Now, this is Leonard Cohen. You want it darker. Now this was second hand. This wasn't brand new. This is his 2016 album I think, released just uh, after he died. It's very dark. It's very moody. It's very deep in voice. I've played it a couple of times. It's okay. It's Leonard Cohen. Um, you don't really expect much more but it, it hasn't sunk in with me yet and I think it does need a few more plays. But it was going very cheap. It was under a tenner, and I thought for okay, a second-hand new album, if you see what I mean, I'll pick it up. You know, add to the collection. So I'll give it a few more listens uh, within the next couple of weeks. I would think. So Leonard Cohen, you want it darker? This one here is um, pure electronic uh, pop from the mid to late '80s, and it's Erasure. And um, this is the, uh, what do you call this one again? The Innocence. Yes, this is a fiver, and I wanted to walk out of the record shop with something, so I bought it because I do love the single, a little respect. And um, this is actually quite good. Now, I know if this uh, shown this in America, you would call this New Wave. I don't think this is New Wave, this is just electronic pop. And um, it's also got things like Ship of Fools, Chains of Love on it. But the LP tracks aren't half bad either. I do have an Erasure CD, Pop uh, 20 Hits, which I would really like on vinyl, but it's too expensive, and that's really what all I need for Erasure. Um, but I bought this, it was cheap, and I would actually buy the Circus if it was going cheap as well. So Erasure, The Innocence. This here, you may not believe, but I never owned this album on CD or on vinyl. And it's Adam and the Ants, Dirk Wears White Socks. Now, when I say that, this is the reissue from 1983. So this was released four years after the original was released. And they chopped and changed the track list in a bit. Now I do have the original, but I never bought this. What they actually did is they took out Car Trouble Parts 1 and 2 from the original and added in the single version of Car Trouble Plus Kick. They also took off the song Catholic Day and they added in Xerox with the brilliant B-side Whip in My Valise. This is probably better than the first album, the actual original issue, but it's a compilation, you know, and call it Dirk Wears White Socks. It's, it's just not really that album they've chopped and changed it too much but i still thought right i'll get it it's cheap i'll just add to that advanced collection so again i'm glad i got it next up and um, we have a little bit of bubble gum yes now this was a pound and it's sugar sugar by the archies woohoo i love that song i don't care i absolutely love that song that's a brilliant 60s single and the album itself is not bad, it is bubblegum, but it's fun. But um, I've never ever got tired of the song Sugar Sugar, and I love watching the wee uh, cartoon video as well. So, yeah, happy to have this in the collection. And, <coughs> excuse me, also Middle of the Road, and this is Drive On, again, I do like Middle of the Road. You could say they're a little bit bubblegum as well. This is the one that didn't really have anything, any big hits off it. Yellow Boomerang would probably be the uh, most famous song. That or Bottoms Up. Um, yeah, it's not a bad album. The one I really want, I do have this. I have the Chirpy Chirpy Cheap Sheep album, but I want the one 
with Soli Soli on it and uh, that'll do me for a middle of the road. But again, glad to have it in the collection, so drive on by middle of the road. And lastly, I've only one new vinyl album and I, I was never going to buy this. I thought, no, I'm not buying it. It's ridiculous. That there's no way I will buy this. I love the band, but the whole idea, it just is so wrong. But I did. And it's the Skids and it's Peaceful Times. Now, Skids were uh, Richard Jobson and uh, Stuart Adamson. Stuart Adamson left the band and then Skids went on and did one album without him. And Stuart went on to form Big Country with Bruce Watson. Now we all know Stuart took his own life in the early 2000s. Now Bruce Watson is part of Skids and what this album is is taking mostly old Skids songs and doing them in an acoustic way. I think there's a couple of new ones on this because I see A World on Fire is written by Bruce Watson as well and he was never in the band. I put this on and Into the Valley, the most famous song, started and I went, oh my god, this is, oh. And as the song went on, I, I got to quite like it and I thought, this is not that bad. And I played the whole album and I thought, this was really, really good. They do a really good version of The Saints Are Coming, which is probably more famous now than, than um, into the Valley since U2, you know, was it Green Day had a big hit with it in the 2000s. But the song Animation, which was a hit, or well, it was a very minor hit in 1980, I wouldn't have recognised it just listening to this version. Completely different. It's very, very mellow. And they do a really good version of Hurry, Hurry On Boys, which originally came from the Absolute Game album. It's an excellent album. It's only 10 songs long. It's on nice white vinyl and it wasn't expensive, so I'm really pleased that I finally pulled the trigger on this one because it is a good album. So those are my vinyl finds over the past uh, month and a half, two months or so. Most of them are extremely cheap. The T-Rex singles I got at a decent price because I got them from the website. But um, that'll be me buying vinyl for a while anyway because as I say I'm going back to work tomorrow night. So that's me for now and I hope to have a video sometime, maybe at the end of next week. Okay now, bye bye.